Hey everybody, Anime Jessica here with my uh, new LP with my brand new Dazzle Capture Card. Yeah, it definitely took me all day to set up, but now that it's finally set up, time for me to start one of my all-time favorite games, Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. I'm going to start a new game here, and sure, let's use a Spyro one. So, um, this is probably one of my all-time favorite childhood games. Uh, I've been playing this game since I was like... Probably when I came out, I think that's when my mom bought it for me. So here I'll be quiet during this cutscene. Powerful villain emerges. I love this boss. She's amazing. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Desperate rescue begins, aka Sun Spyro for the job since he just kicked Rip, uh, Rip butt in Spyro 2. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon world. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. Other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> of course, Hunter's on the job. <laughs> Bum. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Of course, he's the only chance. He's the only one that fits it all. <laughs> So yeah, you gotta know the trouble I went through trying to get this for to work. Oh, such a pain. I, I mean, you, you don't even want to know the hassle I went through. Like, it's ridiculous. Anyways, these controls, pretty crazy actually. It's been a long time since I played this game and Spyro feels like he's moving a lot faster than he used to. Not even faster, but like it turns jolts pretty much. So basically, as you saw, the goal of this game is to run around and collect these dragon eggs. Some of them are easy, like this one, to find, and other ones not so much. Some of them I still to this day have never gotten. I mean, I have one full file, but that's not saying that I beat that file by myself. <laughs> So this is going to be interesting, seeing if I can beat it. Um, the goal is to beat this game 100%, but hey, we'll see if that happens. Oh, missed it. Dang it. And then cutscene time. Well, not really cutscene, but... So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very, very angry. angry. And, and you, you won't, won't like me when, when I'm angry. angry. Sorry, I love that line. <laughs> that line's great. Considering she's... I uh, know, I don't want to spoil it. Sorry, I almost spoiled it. And I know at least one person watching this video has heard of Spyro, but never actually played it, so I don't want to spoil it. Hi, Spyro. 
Eh, I don't care about learning how to do that. I just wanted to get my progress saved. Yes, Zoe. That is Zoe the fairy. Um, the little fairy that's following us around, his name is Spark. So if you hear his, name's brought, his name brought up, that's who he is. That is Sparks the Dragonfly. Um, probably how I'm gonna do this is try to do like one world at a time, get all the eggs. Well, at least as many as I can at that point in time. Yo, Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different the world. The portal thingamajig. Okay. I'm actually going to fail sauce at his flying to go over here. And then he's gonna fly back over and be like, No! You fail! Press the X and then the X button again. <laughs> to get the best, <laughs> he basically says, "You fail. You did not jump where I was going to jump." I saw something. I don't care if you saw something shiny over here. I want the egg. Give me the egg. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Cool. What I don't understand is how he, why he makes us work for these eggs. Like, come on. Alright, so you gotta drop down here. And then Zoe's down here and she'll explain. I'm not even gonna read all that. Basically explains that this is a power-up. Um, this one is the flying power-up. That obviously just lets you fly without stopping for a very limited time. But it, you should get just enough distance to get right up here to get this egg. Her name's Amy. <laughs> They're so cute. I love these dragon eggs. But you're not done yet, because your other goal is to also collect all the gems. Because, spoiler, there's a bear you're going to have to pay a lot of gems very soon. So, um, yeah. Um, in my opinion, this is probably my second favorite Spyro game. My first favorite's probably um, Spyro 2, which will probably next be next on the Let's Play list, but... <laughs> Funny story, the way I decided I had four possible games I wanted to play. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out which one I wanted to do first. So what I did, I texted my boyfriend and I asked him, I wrote down on a piece of paper, I wrote, um, no, I'll tell you what the four choices were. One was uh, Paper Mario, one was Spyro 2, one was Spyro 3, and the other one was uh, Ape Escape for the PlayStation. And I want to do all of these games, and I want to do all of them at once, but I really should just take it one at a time, or two at the most. So I asked him, I said, pick a number between one and four. Whatever one you pick, that will be my next, my uh, first Let's Play on the new Dazzle. So, yeah, he picked number three, which I made Spyro 3 for obvious reasons. But yeah, funny story. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. And here, Hunter will basically teach you how to swim. You press the square button. And that will let you dive underwater. Which is actually a lot harder to control than it looks. Like these things are really irritating. Let's see if I need this egg here. There we go. And it burps. Oh, jeez. Swim Spyro. I think just in this video, I'll probably just get, um, this video is also like a test of the dazzle to see, well, first of all, make sure it works, make sure the quality is good than when it goes up on YouTube and everything. And I figured I was just going to do like a mess around video on like Zelda Ocarina of Time or something, because I'm also playing, in the midst of playing that on my own. I was just going to do like a little mess around video on that, but I decided I can't wait to start my new Let's Play. I cannot wait to have fun with this dazzle. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I decided I'm going to start my new Let's Play tonight, and I'm going to have fun doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting probably about a month for this dazzle to come in. And the hell I went through, I had to, uh, I tried to hook it up, and it would not work. I could not get it to work at all. I tried just about everything to get it, and I could not get the input to be read. So I went out and watched quite a few YouTube videos, like, and watched many people's, to see how they hooked up the system. And I'm just like, well, what do all these videos have in common? They all... Ah, shut up, Zoe. Mmm, yeah, active mode. Um, but they had... 
all involved having a splitter for the um, the cord that goes from the dazzle to the TV and also from the cord that goes from the PlayStation to the TV. They also had that. So I called all around the city. Couldn't find a place to save my life that sold splitters for a decent price. Now what I paid for the, the splitters that I ended up finding, they weren't the best price in the world. They were a little bit expensive, but do you know what? To be able to do this makes me happy. It was worth it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get on top of this rock. So get used to these controls again. And Liam. Aww. He's so sad. Um, trying to get all the gems here before all the gems and all. I think we can get all the eggs at this point. Let me see. Uh, if you press select, you can bring this atlas up. Yeah, I found all the eggs, and now I just gotta find ten gems, which is not always easy. Oh, 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 I think I see some. Oh, I do. I do. Ha. Ten. Perfect. Level complete. Um, you know what? This is the first episode and all. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first level. Why? Actually, uh, maybe I'll go for Sheila. Over here, watch her cutscene. My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Okay, so I don't know if this is on my end or yours, but it seemed like the voice and the sound is cutting out right now. I'm not too sure if it's on my end or if it's because of the headphones that I'm using that are really messed up. Yeah, see here, you have to pay him 300 gems to let Sheila go. I'm, I do apologize if it's on this end. I will try to fix that for the next video. I hope video. you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> oh, that got her. <laughs> Poor money bag. Yeah. Eh, Inspiring. he deserved it. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. No, I think it's actually on the video end, because I can see it. It's kind of skipping a little bit as I'm watching it. Well, I'll have to figure out why that's doing that. Well, that's why this is the test video. So, um, because of that, I think I may have to stop the video right here. Now that it's saving and everything, I may have to just stop it here. Until next time. So, next time we will not be going to Sheila's Elf, but we will be going over here and going into Sunny Villa. So, I will see you guys then.